Hi, I'm Brian. And I'm Lauren. And, and we're, we're married. married. <laughs> so, Lauren, did you know that the very first legal same-sex marriage ceremony in the United States happened on February 12th, 2004, when the mayor of San Francisco, Gavin Newsom, ordered City Hall to issue marriage licenses to same-sex couples? Hmm. This decision resulted in the celebration of the first gay marriage in the United States when Del Martin and Phyllis Lyon became the first gay couple to tie the knot and get official recognition of their 50-year relationship. Wow, 50 years. Our role models. That's a long time. But listen, by late 2014, same-sex marriage had become legal in states that contained more than 70% of the United States population. In some jurisdictions, legalization came through the action of state courts or the enactment of state legislation. More frequently, it came as a result of the decisions of federal courts. On November 6th of 2012, Maine, Maryland, and Washington became the first states to legalize same-sex marriage through popular vote. Same-sex marriage has been legalized in the District of Columbia and 21 Native American tribal nations as well. Wow, did you know that? I did not. That's Me wow. either. So on June 26th, 2015, the U.S. Supreme Court struck down all state bans on same-sex marriage, legalized it in all 50 states, and required states to honor out-of-state same-sex marriage licenses. By the year 2017, married same-sex couples made up about 59.4% of all same-sex households. Isn't that amazing? It is. A rate that has more than doubled over the past 10 years. Wow, now that's good news, and it's also progress. And here's something else. Since Stonewall, there has been significant progress for LGBTQ equality, including the recognition of same-sex marriage as a constitutional right nationwide. The establishment of many community LGBTQ rights, national organizations, and the passage of the Matthew Shepard and James Byrd Jr. Hate Crimes Prevention Act, protecting LGBTQ people from hate-based violence, in some states anyway. But however, there still remains much work that needs to be done to ensure equality for all the LGBTQ communities in the areas of hate crimes, employment, housing discrimination, health care, bullying, harassment, representation, public accommodations, and much, much more. There's a lot yet to be done. So, honey, what's your favorite part or memory about the process of what it took for us to get married? I think my favorite memory was when um, we went to the courthouse and were able to get our, um, our marriage license. Mm. It, um, mm. it just it gave me a chance to feel like, wow, we finally have all the freedoms that everyone else always has. And um, not only did it feel like a personal milestone, but it also felt really good to be part of a, a milestone that, that the gay rights movement has had. I agree. I agree. It was certainly historical in many, many ways. Hmm. How about you, Lauren? Well, okay. Obviously, I love a big party. I love a celebration. And the greatest celebration was our wedding day, the actual day, bringing all of our loved ones, all of our friends and family and supporters, others too, allies, uh, people who thought this day would never come within our lifetime, all in one place, celebrating love and togetherness and just the freedom to be who we are for the rest of our lives. It was incredible. And I would want that for every person who has found their everything like I have. So, I'm really excited about it, and we hope that for all of you. So, honey, I love you. I love you, too. Ah.